and warm shelters across Mobile setting up for this week's dramatic drop in temperature. In fact, a shelter is being set up right now at the Theodore Church of God. Our Ashlyn Mitchell checked out those preparations in Ashlyn. It's more than just a warm place for people to stay. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Ariel. People are coming together, especially with this week's icy temperatures, and they'll also be able to have some health care, food, clothing, and they will also have access to shoes as well. And there will be people who will be available to help them and walk them through all of their needs. This is a situation where they would maybe die on the street. As temperatures drop dangerously low across the country, Eric Overstreet and John Kozlinski are ensuring people in the Mobile area have a warm place to stay. Last year we opened five different church, four churches, and then we had the shelter downtown at uh, the Samaritan's Home. This year we decided to bring everybody to one place, the amazing Joey McCullough. Theodore Church of God allows to use this giant gym. The operation came together in just a few days thanks to hundreds of volunteers who converted the gym at Theodore Church of God into a life-saving shelter. And it's more than just a place to sleep. Meals, desserts, clothing, shoes, and even health care all on standby. This is an environment that they're just going to be loved. They're going to have three uh, uh, awesome meals a day, uh, a hot breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, amazing amounts of uh, uh, goodies and snacks, and uh, we're gonna, we treat them like family. Just two days ago, they lost a friend to hypothermia, a man named James who'd stayed at a warm shelter in the past. James was an amazing, brilliant guy. He had a master's, like he was a sharp guy. We ministered to him, love on him. He was an alcoholic, and he just happened to be outside a couple nights ago when he got hypothermia and died in front of Starbucks Midtown. With his tragic death fresh on their minds, they understand safety in the bitter cold is paramount. But that's what we don't want to happen. Like we want to treat every human being as somebody created in God's image, so everybody's the same to us. It was a touching scene Saturday afternoon. A steady stream of vehicles dropping off coats, blankets, and shoes. I'm just amazed, blown away by the fact that so many people have shown up to be a part of this. And anybody that wants to come by and serve, if they'll just stop by and talk to one of the team leaders here, they'll get them hooked up. I asked volunteers why they chose to step up. No matter what they've been through, they don't deserve to be out on the streets when it's this cold. It's unreal. I can't describe what it means because we, we did it last year. We had a lot of donations, but nothing like this. It's very encouraging for me in my faith and, and not only that but in humanity to see uh, humanity come together to help other people who are not in the best place that they could be uh, to me homeless people a lot of times are just people in transition now governor k ivy has issued a state of emergency for 25 counties right here in alabama ahead of this week's wintry weather the state of emergency went into effect at two o'clock this afternoon mobile and baldwin counties are fortunately not on that list but you'll want to note the ones that are and of course if you're in those areas take extreme precaution now the address for Theodore Church of God is 6360 Theodore Dawes Road. To learn more about what's going on at the shelter this week, you can visit fox10tv.com. Reporting live in studio, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.